One of the basic skills that we need to learn in algebra is plotting points because if we know how to plot points, we'll be able to uh, graph any kind of functions in our xy plane. Now, ordered pairs are two numbers in certain order written in this form. In this particular form, we are representing a point given the x coordinate and the y coordinate. Now, you need to understand that the ordered pair, the ordering of the numbers inside the parentheses is very important because 2 and 3 is not the same as 3 and 2. So this is the ordered pair that we are going to use today in plotting our points in the xy plane. Now, what is an xy plane? An xy xy plane is a rectangular grid used in graphing equations or points in a given line similar to this one. So we have our vertical line and our horizontal line. Now our horizontal line here is represented by the x-axis and the vertical line is represented by y-axis. Now these two axes will not change. It's always going to be x-axis on the horizontal line and the y-axis on the vertical line. Now in our Cartesian plane, which is also known as the XY plane, we are separating it into quadrants. So we have quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4. Now in this particular quadrant, we'll be able to understand the behavior of each point. If we have a point where in the X value is positive and the Y value is also positive, we'll have them in the first quadrant. Now on our second quadrant right here, the points or the values of x and y will be negative and positive respectively. And for our quadrant 3, both x and y will be negative. That's why we are, or all the points that will be in this particular quadrant right here will have a negative x and a negative y value. And for our last quadrant, we have a positive value for x and a negative value for y. Now the center of our xy plane where the x-axis and the y-axis intersect is what we call as the origin or the point of origin which has an ordered pair of 0 and 0. Now let's have some examples on how we use our Cartesian plane or xy plane in plotting points given the ordered pairs in a problem. Now in this particular example, we will use our xy plane or the Cartesian plane and we're going to plot the following points. We have point 2, 4, point negative 4, 3, negative 5, negative 4, and 3 and negative 3. Now to plot the yellow dot, which is the first point, 2, 4, we need to have a positive 2 and a positive 4. So if you'll notice, the x-axis is on 2 and the y-axis is on 4. So that is how you plot the points in algebra using the xy plane. And this is our 2, 4 or point 2, 4. Now for the second point we have negative 4 and positive 3. So negative 4 is on the left hand side of the horizontal line and positive 3 is on the uh, upper side of our vertical line. So we have here negative 4 and positive 3 and this is our second point and for our third point which is negative 5 for x and negative 4 for y we'll have it on this particular quadrant which is quadrant 3 so this is negative 5 and negative 4 and the last point that we have which is 3 and negative 3 we're going to plot it at x equal to positive 3 and y equal to negative 3 and this is our point for 3 and negative 3 now the quadrants for each particular point for our first point represented by the yellow yellow dot, it's in quadrant 1. And the other point, which is negative 4 and 3, will be in quadrant 2 because the x is negative and the y is positive. And the third point, both of them are negative, so it's in quadrant 3. And the last point that we have, which is 3 and negative 3, lies under quadrant 4. And that is how we plot points in our xy plane or the Cartesian coordinate.